Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back for this Friday's episode of Super Mario 3 World 2. Uh, we had a little bit of an issue yesterday. Uh, I was going to go right straight through to World 2, but uh, for some reason the uh, controller just didn't respond. And of course, I've I've made a couple of adjustments to the uh, to the screen recording to make it a little easier uh, on myself to see. Oh, I started out small, darn. Yeah, we actually had to uh, perform a reset, so my progress was lost. I just didn't want to uh, go back and redo everything again. So World 2 is basically a desert level. Oh, come on. So World 2 is essentially a desert level. There's lots of places to go. There's lots of things to do here. Do -do. Now, there's a bouncy rate here. There we go. You hit that. There we go. One here. You know, the game, it really makes, with the, uh, the HD 4X engine, it really, really makes things look better. Actually, I am going to go through that warp tunnel right over here. I'm going to go through the warp tunnel because this level is actually really short. And if you don't go through the warp tunnel, you... It's just nothing to it. Okay, get some coins. Yeah. Do -do. But uh, a lot of the other bad guys and the terrain and stuff has all been... Uh, has all been modified and updated um, with the uh, the HD engine but that sprite for the uh, that guy didn't seem to get any better kind of a shame really there we go <laughs> get out of my house you cat you'd be nice to the kitty Oh no. What? You're little and you have to call back and you have to fight Bowser? Why are those four cats following you? Alright. So this one there's lots of quicks oh Is this the I think there's Ah, it is. Oh. Use my reverse power here. Reverse again. Oh no! So, I want to point something out here. Oh my, that was a that was a mess. Um, I'm not sure if I can pull it off. I'll try one more time. If I can, I can. If I can't, oh well. Um, essentially, if you go through the level and you get all of the coins, you can get another uh, another white ship. So let's 
Let's try to... Uh... Ah, another bad thing about the rewind is if you pause the game or anything like that, it actually has to rewind it in real time. There we go. Okay. Oh shoot. Nope. Nope. I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that again. That's what happens when you try to do too many tricks. Yeah. Okay. So, this level, physically, uh, World, uh, World 2 is actually a lot larger than World 1. For that kind of go. Ba bam. Ooh, a ghosty. Now, if you turn your back on the ghost, they chase you. Um, and if you have the ghost too close to you when you stop him, he'll actually come up the floor here and start attacking you and killing you. Just run real fast through there. Into here. Oh, those spikes look terrible. Ah, oh, sugar. Pull a Doctor Strange. Now, for some reason, when I turn that direction, it looks like part of Mario's head is missing. Yeah, not quite sure why. All right. And he's dead. Oop, there we go. All right. So in order to go back around there, we'll just go in this tunnel. Ah, come on. There we go. All right. This mushroom. Oh, no, all my stuff is gone. Oh, no. Like I was mentioning about save states and stuff like that before, sometimes you lose stuff, and that's basically what happened here. Oh, this level is really cool. Um, yeah, if we fly up here, there it is. This level is really cool because right below me, you can you just heard one jump. You can hear them. Uh, break this. Let's go get some coins. Oh. Well, that didn't turn out the way I hoped it would. Now, this level here is really good. You just... Let the turtle shell go. I remember trying to figure this out as a kid, you know, like, how do you get in there and stuff. There we go. So what happened, uh, we had to reset the emulator because something happened with the controller just stopped working and we lost everything we lost uh, lost all the lives that I had I lost all my inventory stuff um, ah yes so this is the level that pretty much every kid hates it has tornadoes 
And if you get caught in that uh, that tornado here, I'll go back and see if I can see it. You want to come see the tornado? So I'll pick up this shell. Is the tornado going to come back? There it is. If you get stuck in the tornado, it'll carry you back. So the easiest way to get through the tornado is just to run. Oops, I forgot to jump. It's just to run real fast, jump. Now in this part here, the sun literally tries to kill you. Which, uh, surprisingly is how most Nova Scotians feel so far this summer. Which is why I decided to... Ah. No! There we go. Evil sunshine. Mm. So it's been fairly hot here in the summer times and a lot of people are really, really, really... Uh... I'm not going to take that from anybody. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> you killed him and you got a treasure chest. Say what? You killed him and you got a treasure chest. Why do you get a treasure chest? Ah, uh, because in this in this Mario you get treasure chests uh, to to get all your stuff. So yeah, sometimes when you pull it, I call it a, we're we're going to call it a Doctor Strange now. So sometimes when you pull a Doctor Strange, not everything. Uh, I lost all my stuff. Yeah, I know. Kind of sad, isn't it? So, level four or level five? Four. You want me to go in order? Okay. Then four, then you get to oh. get those coins, and then that triangle is in the castle. Got it? <laughs> now, this one here, this level actually has... See if I can reverse time. Pulling the Doctor Strange. Reversing time. That was stupid. Was, uh, what? Reversing time is bad. So run up. There we go. So in this level here, if you have your, uh, oop, I want that turtle, where'd he go? Oh, not it. so long. Okay. So in this level, if you actually run across uh, at the start of the level and you have your uh, your flying suit here. Man. If you have your flying suit, you can actually... What on? Sometimes when you reverse time, the same thing happens. Man, I'm having a rough time with this level. So if you run real fast, you can't fall. Nope, you get to go up here. You get to go up here because now we're on top of the level. So as I was saying before, if you uh, you run real fast when you're at the other side of the screen, you can come up here and you can essentially skip the uh, 
What's that? You can skip the entire level. Now I'm just gonna... You can see those are a coin block. So I'm gonna go up here get these coins. How much time do we have? 161 seconds. Well, 157 seconds. There's coins in there, but I'm not gonna worry about those. Just gonna worry about these ones. If you do it right, you can actually uh, fly across and just bump like this. And you'll... Uh, you'll end up getting them all. Getting tired? Oh, here's another card. I don't have this one written down. I'm not going to bother with this one. I'm going to go back and do that again. Oh, oh, that one was a mushroom. That one was a mushroom. It's a mushroom in that one? Yeah. Oh. Okay. We're not going to worry too much about those ones. And then you can go to the castle, right? Okay. Uh, got to go through the pyramid first. Yeah, I know. Pyramid. Oh, come on. I was going to say after um, the um, core one, we could do the pyramid, then we could go to the castle. Yeah, we gotta go through the pyramid, um, but before we go to the pyramid, we have to go through, um, no, we've gotta go over and get our... Powers? Suit. Suit? Yeah, we gotta go over and get our suit. And climb up this beanstalk? Yeah, right, climb up the beanstalk. Jump on these floating clouds. Yep. Well, clouds always float. There we go. Don't break them, they're going to turn into coins. You gotta break a couple of them. Come on. There we go. I'm not gonna worry about that one. Starting to lose my headphones there. Now, one of the benefits of Super Mario 3 is you can actually go back. So, see, there's where we went up. And with this version of the game, we can actually go back, whereas you couldn't go back in, in previous uh, previous editions. Mm -hmm. And as you'll notice... There were two enemies in the uh, in the area there where I hit the star. You know what happens when you get more enemies? Die? No, you don't die. The more enemies you have means the more points you get. Once you reach up to ten thousand points, you actually get a free Mario. Oh, it's this. He's got a mushroom hat. Hat. Okay, here's the pyramid. Sandcastle, witch. It's not a sandcastle. So this level here, starting off at as a small Mario, is actually kind of hard because you have to you have to be able to smash bricks and having your tail. See right there. Helps. Yep, having a tail helps. Losing a tail. Or getting hit in this level. See, if you're small, you have to toss like this, and then you have to be able to jump over. Block right there. And we'll just tap that one. Run over there, tap this one. And then go we'll down. Purple one. Yeah, I don't know why they're they're purple in this one. It's just weird. You're weird. No. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, careful. The bad guys are gonna call, fall from the ceiling. Let's take this guy for protection. There we go. Oh, Doctor Strange it. Doctor Strange it. Yeah, Doctor Stranging is fun. I really like that whole reverse time Doctor Strange thing. Um, a lot of people... <laughs> A lot of people may see it as cheating, and I can really understand that, but from a production standpoint, what? You gotta fight this guy. Now, um, we can go up here, so... We're gonna go up here. Okay. Press B. Hammer. Wait, what? It's a secret. Frog suit! <laughs> um, Super Mario uh, 3 World 3 is, uh, is a water level. Mostly all the levels have water in it. And if you have the frog suit, you can swim underwater and you don't have to press A. You just float there. You'll see it. Ready for the castle? Yeah. Now, I'm not going to beat that... Uh, I'll just go back up here for a second and show you. Um, I'm not going to beat that guy right there. Just because he... Um, he's gonna warp whistle, and we're not you. We're not collecting and not getting any warp whistles uh, in this. <gasps> he's a spider. Oh, it's terrible! The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Now it's always the king. Yeah. It's always that. <laughs> yes, until World Seven. Okay. So this castle here is a little harder. It has many different pieces. So we'll go up here. Now if you run too fast and jump down in there, you can actually die. Because everything is technically off the screen uh, into the death zone before you get there. So it's a. It's a, a bad place to be, nonetheless. Let me jump off the boat. I will. I can't. Because <laughs> it's off the edge of the screen. They won't let me go that far. Wow. Yeah. yeah, this guy here, he's, he's, he's bad. He's too fat. He's like me. He's fat. <laughs> he doesn't look like that. There we go. All right, so there we have it. That was World 2 for Super Mario Brothers 3. Was that fun? Yeah. Yeah, here, I'll move over a little bit. So that was fun, was it? What do you yeah. think we're going to get this time? A king that was old? No, not the king. What do you think we're going to get from Princess Peach for a gift? Another P-Wing? Another P-Wing? Okay. You think? A star. A star. Let's see. Greetings. You can stomp on your enemies using Goomba's shoe. I have enclosed a jewel that helps you protect. 
or sorry, helps protect you. Princess Toonstool. It's a magic cloud. So anyway, everyone, thank you for tuning in. This has been Super Mario 3 World 2. Uh, we'll see you again on Monday where we're going to pick up with Super Mario uh, World 3. Yeah, Super Mario World 3. So as always, remember to like and subscribe. And as well, click on the notifications icon so that way every time we upload a new video, you'll be notified. Anything to say? No? You want to say goodbye? Bye. See you guys later. Bye-bye.